Hi guys and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you have ever wondered about what is the difference between cookie and token based authentication, you are at the right video. In the next few minutes I will be going through and explaining what is the difference between cookie and token based authentication and how does a typical request work in both of these authentication. But before we move forward, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel, that way you are notified when I release a new video. And with that, let me switch back to the main topic. Authentication can be done in two ways. Cookie based authentication has been a default method for handling a user authentication for a long time. Cookie based authentication is stateful. That means that server needs to keep a track of active sessions in a database while on the front end a cookie is created that holds a session identifier and hence the name cookie based authentication. Next one on the other hand is token based authentication. Token based authentication has gained prevalence over the last few years with rise of single page applications, web APIs and Internet of Things. When we talk about authentication with tokens, we generally talk about authentication using JWT which stands for JSON Web Tokens. In case of JWT, server does not keep a track of which users are logged in or which JWTs have been issued. Instead, each request to the server is accompanied with a token which server uses to verify the authenticity of that request. Because of that, the token based authentication is stateless. A cookie based authentication is typically used when you have a username and password in your website. An example of token based authentication is when you have external login for authentication. As an example, many times you have seen in websites when you use Google or Facebook for login. In this case, we do not enter Facebook's password on our website, rather we will be redirected to Facebook where we will have to enter the username and password for Facebook. Once Facebook will validate your identity, they will redirect you back to the website with a token. This way the headache of authentication lies on the shoulder of Facebook. Now that we have basic understanding of what is cookie and token authentication, let me also walk you through on the traditional flow of how it works with cookie based versus token based authentication. First we will understand how the flow works with cookie based authentication. Initially the user will enter their login credentials which is the username and password. Then server verifies the credentials are correct and if they are correct, it creates a session that is stored in database and then a cookie. That particular session ID is placed in a user's browser with a certain expiration time. Then on the subsequent request, the session ID is verified against the database and if that is valid, the request is processed. Once a user logs out of the application, the session is destroyed by both the client as well as server. This is a typical flow with a cookie based authentication. Now let's understand how token based authentication work. In this case, user enters their login credentials and then server verifies if the credentials are valid or not. If they are valid, it will return back a token. This token is stored on client side and most commonly inside local storage but it can be stored in a session storage or even a cookie. Then subsequent request to the server will include this token as an additional authorization header or through some other way. The main thing is that each request will have this token. When server receives this token, it will decode that JWT token and if that token is valid, only then the request will be processed. 
Now once a user logs out, this token is destroyed on the client side. No interaction with the server is necessary in this case and because of this the token based authentication is more common on mobile application and single page applications because it is stateless. But cookie based is more common with server to server communication. And that's it for the video. I hope with that you have a good overview of the difference between cookie and token based authentication. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment.